also Toki Rhetoric Volume 1 Review. Recently, there has been something of a surge of historical romance manga making their way into the English market like My Dear Detective, Misako's Case Files, available on Asuki, My Happy Marriage like Yen Price and Square Enix, and One Piece Book's latest edition, also Toki Rhetoric. Today, I'm here to check out this latest release to find out if it's a must-have for shoujo fans. The story takes place in Showa 1, 1926 in the Western calendar, where we've met the protagonist, 16-year-old Kanako Oraba. Kanako has left her hometown behind after the residents turned her against her, turned her ability to hair lies. He has just reached the town of Sokomoya, when we met her, currently homeless and starving. Not long before Kanako collapses, but luckily for her, for her she's just met detective Iwai Soma, who won't turn a blind eye to those in need. Soma takes Kanako to a nearby restaurant where she feeds a rest decent meal and Soma's police detective contact and childhood friend Hanasaki Karu promises to introduce her to the staple job. These, these are beginning the look of her Kanako that is until she overhears the restaurant's owner's son, Taro, lying about stealing money. Kanako can help but speak up and tell him not to lie, but with no evidence to prove her claim, she worries that the new friends she's made will turn their backs and her and brand her a bad omen like those in her hometown. To make matters worse, the next morning Taro goes missing and it becomes a grace against time to find him be before anything awful can happen. Kanako and Soma reach search together and thanks to Kanako's power and Soma's quick wits as a detective, they manage to rescue him from a dangerous situation. Now Soma believes in Kanako's powers and asks her to work and has his assistant. But can Kanako overcome her fears at abandonment? Also talking rhetoric volume 1 is made up for 4 chapters. Across we get to see Kanako and Soma tackle 3 different mysteries. There's quite a variety in the cases that they take on, including investigating a robbery and a kidnapping. I read 5 chapter volumes of this in Japanese, so far so we can say that it continues to offer a quite wide variety of stories as the series goes on, which is important for the title in this genre. When Soma and Kanako work together, we got to learn more about Kanako's power and how the intentions behind words spoken can influence whether she hears them as a lie or not. Together the two work out secret hand signals so Soma can now know at a glance if someone is lying or not during their investigations. Of course, we also get glimpses of Kanako's past and how these powers prove a problem for her as a child. When she could understand why no one else could hear the lies, and that every re revealing that someone is lying can cause problems in relationships and hurts people's feelings. The series ran in Pesatsu Hana to Yomi, but despite being in the popular shoujo magazine, it's not big on the romance side of things. It's obvious that Kanako is developing some feelings for Soma, particularly since her treats her so well and release in her, but it's clear that the series has isn't particularly interested in dealing with the romance side of things just yet, so readers hoping for that may be disappointed. The mangaka behind the series is Ritsu Miyako, who has a couple of other series to her in name in Japanese, but this is her English debut. The artwork side of things is great, with detailed backgrounds and attractive character designs. In sidebar notes during the manga, Miyako talks about how she spent a lot of time researching kimonos to make them accurate to the era, and how to trouble some to prove they also look into popular hairstyles in the era. Audrey admits she chose what she thought looked best in the end, regardless of accuracy. You can tell how much care and attention has gone into the setting. I also appreciate that all the speech bubbles containing lies have a uniquely patterned background, so it's easy for mysterious readers to tell at a glance who's not revealing the truth in a given scene. Miyakos isn't afraid to have fun, some fun with that art either, as she often transforms her cast into a TV versions of themselves for smaller panels where they might be bickering about something or other. This only enhances the variety of personalities their cast offers, particularly someone who is clear a very talented individual but can often be found wailing about being poor, poor, starving, tired. He's surely a handful of Kanako and Karu, but he's lovable all the same, thanks to the earnest and caring side of his personality. If an anime is ever made, I hope to put Mamoru Miyat in Soma's role. He will be a perfect fit and I find myself reading all the Soma's dialogue in his eye already. As previously mentioned, also, Tokyo Rhetoric Volume 1 comes to the West thanks to One Piece books. It has been translated by Molly Rabbit. The translation reads well in, in a lettering, which goes uncredited. It is also largely problem free. There are a few scenes where the text doesn't fit in speech bubbles, which a slightly different show will have fixed. I also noticed some sign like translation being stuck above or below the sign in question, which will have been better in translation notes at the back of the book or in between panels, particularly when it's not critical to readers' understanding for a given scene. Admittedly, this bugs me perhaps more than it's normal will because I have these problems a lot of these releases put up by One Piece books, so it's always disappointing to find that they're still but not proving in that regard. 
despite criticism from fans and other reviews outlets alike. The series is complete in Japan, at 10 volumes, having run between 2012 and 2018. In English, One Piece books as Volume 2 scheduled for release in February, with Volume 3 following in June. Overall, Osotoga Rhetoric is a combination of its interesting mysteries and heartfelt character development in a time period we don't see a lot of, of in the English market, but it may not be heavy on the romance side of things. They have a few small quality issues. Readers will still find themselves rooting for Kanako and Soma as they solve cases together. A highly recommended reader read if you are taken by the premise. 6, 9 out of 10.